All right, here are three mistakes that I see students make when solving a system of equations by graphing. The first one is graphing incorrectly. They don't know how to graph these linear equations or they just make some common mistakes. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you have a negative slope, you can think about that as either a negative three over two or a positive three over a negative two just don't do a negative three over a negative two. Be very careful with that. Remember, when you have an integer slope, that can be always be rewritten as a three over one. So now your rise over run is three over one or a negative three over one, which we'll get into later. And then also remember when you have y equals two or x equals one, those are going to be horizontal vertical lines. When y equals two, that represents your y-intercept. So that's always going to be a horizontal line. When x equals one, that means for all y values, X is always going to be one. That is going to be a vertical line with a undefined slope. Those are the common mistakes students make with graphing because again, when we're looking for solving a system of equations by graphing, we're looking for the intersection point, right? That is going to be the solution to our system. Which brings us to the next equation or the next mistake. When students wanna graph these, they always wanna look for that solution to be in the positive, that first quadrant. So what they do is they go ahead and graph a problem like this and they only go right. They go up to the y-intercept of two and they say, all right, I'm gonna go up four over three. And then they plot the graph and then they see this one. They say up four, one, two, three, four, and they go up two over one. And they say, I'm just gonna keep on graphing these till I find the intersection point. And unfortunately, if you keep on going to the right, it's not gonna work. You can actually see that these two graphs are actually going to intersect somewhere down here. I think it's negative three, negative two, but you can work it out to verify. The last mistake students make is using intercept form. I love intercept form when I need to graph a linear equation. Simply set x equal to zero, solve for y, you're gonna get a four. Then to solve for the x-intercept, set y equal to zero and solve for x, you're gonna get x equals six. Then you simply just connect your intercepts. It's great, but when you're trying to go ahead and solve, you're trying to find the intersection of two graphs, if you make any mistakes going through there, your intersection point might be a little off. So on this one, I'm just gonna go to my y-intercept, which is negative one, a slope, which is a one over one, so up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, and I'm not really sure exactly where that point is going to intersect. So the best case to be able to make sure that you're getting these correct is to go ahead and rewrite this in slope-intercept form. Subtract the two x and then divide by three. Now you can go ahead and find your point, go down two to the right three, one, two, three, and you can see actually where that intersection point is, which again, I think if I did my scaling right, would be three comma two. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen, those are the three mistakes that I students make when solving a system of equations by graphing.